What's up YouTube? This is William Bitter coming at you from New York City. So who do you guys think makes more money, investment bankers or dog walkers? There's a lot of preconceived notions about investment bankers making tons of money, dog walkers, it's just a side gig, you can't make a career out of it. So I wanted to debunk some of the notions that people have regarding these careers. Let's dive right into it. According to Payscale.com, the average investment banker in New York City makes just over $103,000 per year. With entry-level bankers making $87,000 a year, mid-career bankers making $150,000 a year, and late-career investment bankers making $162,000 a year. At first glance, this might seem like a great deal. Um, it seems like these guys are making a lot of money, and it seems like a solid career path. But there are a couple important factors to consider the amount of hours that these guys work as well as the high tax bracket that they're in looking on investopedia it looks like the average investment bankers are working between 90 and 100 hours per week so if we take the average investment banker making $103,000 a year and we look at their take-home pay after taxes their take-home pay is just $70,000 assuming they have two weeks vacation and they're working 50 weeks a year 50,000 divided by 50 is 1,400 which is how much they're making each week. And if you factor in that they're working at least 90 hours a week, their take home pay is $15.60 per hour, which is just barely over minimum wage in New York City. This shows you that when you consider the amount of hours that these guys are working and the amount of taxes they're paying, they're really not making that much. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm not sure where all these buttons are, but if you like my videos, please, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe. I don't know where all the buttons are, but just support my channel, please. When I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm either gonna, I'm, when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm either going to dye my hair red, green, or blue, or completely shave my head off, or completely shave my hair. <laughs> so in the description below, there's actually a poll where you can vote on what my consequence will be when I get to a thousand subscribers. So if you like my videos, please support the channel. Also kind of fun, vote on what you'd like to happen to my hair at a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys. If you look at the average late career investment banker who's making $162,000 per year, their take home pay is only $106,000 per year. Divide that by the 50 weeks that they work each year and they're making just over $2,000 per week. But then if you divide that by the number of hours that they're working, their take home pay is $23.62 per hour. How does this stack up with how much dog walkers make? All right, I'm going to admit right now that this analysis and comparison that I'm gonna do is not quite fair because if you just look on payscale.com, the average dog walker in New York City makes $15 an hour, but what I'm gonna look at instead of the average dog walker, because if you'll notice in my title, the title doesn't say why dog walkers make more money than investment bankers, it's why some dog walkers make more than investment bankers. So we're just gonna look at independent dog walkers. New York City dog walkers on the low end charge at least $20 for a 30 minute walk and $30 for a 60 minute walk. In fact, according to dogwalker.com, dog walkers charge between $20 and $30 for a 30 minute walk and $50 and $60 for a 60 minute walk. What do you guys think? What seems more enticing, dog walking or investment banking? It's not even taking into consideration that a lot of dog walkers walk many dogs at a time and a lot of dog walkers, the old school independent dog walkers, are not paying taxes and getting paid in cash. So there are many independent dog walkers that are getting paid in cash and are completely not paying taxes, which is wrong. You should never do that. Never do that. It's illegal. You can go to jail. But this is just the truth that many dog walkers in New York City are getting paid in cash and don't pay taxes on their income. I'm going to use a somewhat extreme yet feasible imaginary example of a dog walker. They manage to walk three dogs for 30 minutes every hour. That means they pick up a dog, pick up another dog, pick up the third dog, walk them around, drop the first one, drop the second one, drop the third one. This is totally feasible. It's, it's not that crazy. If you have dogs in the same neighborhood, you can easily walk about three, you can easily do about three 30 minute walks within an hour. 
As long as you can pick up each dog within the first half hour, then you'll be done with all three of them by the end of the hour. So, so if a dog walker manages to walk three dogs for 30 minutes every hour on average, they're raking in about $60 an hour. If we just imagine this dog walker working the same hours as an investment banker, working 90 hours a week, which is totally possible because dog walkers, there are many dog walkers that work from 8 a.m. till 10 p.m., five days a week, six days a week, seven days a week. So this is totally feasible. And if we just calculate that out, $60 an hour, 90 hours a week, that dog walker is making $5,400 per week. And if they're working the same amount of weeks as an investment banker, working 50 weeks a year, that means they're raking in about $270,000 a year. If we just imagine that this is one of those dog walkers that's not paying taxes and they're just stuffing all that cash under their mattress because if they spend it, the IRS is probably gonna arrest them. And if we just imagine that this is one of those dog walkers that is completely getting paid in cash and totally avoiding taxes altogether, an investment banker would have to make $475,000 to make the same income after tax, to make $271,000 per year. That's nearly three times what you can expect to make late in your career as an investment banker. Regardless, if this dog walker paid taxes on their income, they would still have a take-home pay of 165 k which is a lot more than this, the average late career investment banker, about $60,000 a year more. Another important thing to consider is the barrier to entry for these jobs. For an investment banker, you're going to need at least a four-year degree, which on average costs $33,000 a year in tuition. So for the four-year degree, you're going to pay $132,000. Potentially, that'll be debt that you'll need to pay interest on as well. You'll also have four years where you won't be saving and investing money because you'll be focused on school and you won't be working, most likely. As a dog walker, no college degree is necessary, but it will take you at least one to two years to build a client base. That means when you first start dog walking, you're not gonna be raking in the dough, you're gonna start with one dog, two dogs, and slowly build your income gradually. On the plus side, you'll have four years of saving and investing under your belt before the investment banker even gets their job. There's also a chance that you spend four years going to college, $132,000, and give up four years of not saving and investing, only to find out that you actually don't like investment banking. Whereas dog walking, if you find out later on that you don't like it, you can always decide to do something else without having sacrificed much. Besides, what are the chances that you aren't going to enjoy dog walking at least a little bit? there are a lot of other professions that make a lot of money such as carpentry um, house cleaning and a lot of people look down on these services but a lot of these people because no one else wants to do it they're actually making quite a bit of money at least in New York City vendors are charging at least $50 an hour to install TVs maids are charging $200 to clean an apartment that they can do in two and a half hours I think the key takeaway from this is that you can make a lot of money doing anything you want if you just really hustle. So I think the key takeaway is that you should do what you love because you can make a lot of money doing just about anything. So don't get an office job just because it looks like you'll make a lot of money when there might be another passion, another better path, and you can find a way to just hustle hard in that niche and enjoy life. Yeah, don't be afraid to do what you love. All right. Much love, guys. You gotta save and invest your money. Save and invest your money. Save and invest your money.